I'm on the Butte County Sheriff's Office boat patrolling the Sacramento River, which is fairly empty right now. Deputy John Barker tells me that the river has been pretty empty the entire weekend as there is an alcohol ban on the river, which started Saturday and will end tonight at midnight. The Labor Day weekend is the only holiday that the ban alcohol ban is in effect, and it, it's only from the Irvine Finch launch, the north side of the Highway 32 bridge there, down to uh, what's often referred to as a wash out of the gravel bar uh, in Big Chico Creek. Um, and it extends from the water's edge 50 feet up the embankment. Some are not surprised that fewer people celebrate the holiday weekend at the Sacramento River with the ban in place. I'm sure that uh, it has a large effect. People probably like to come out here, get drunk, and maybe this caused a lot of problems in the past, which is why there's the ban. Despite the alcohol ban and decreased amount of people who came to celebrate Labor Day here at the Sacramento River, several people still traveled, grabbed their tubes, and enjoyed the river. I mean, uh, we were planning on coming anyways, just because it's a lot of fun to go and float on the river. Uh, I didn't even know there was an alcohol ban. I'm not from around here. I'm uh, from Wyoming. Yeah, so it is actually my first time coming out of the Sac River. Um, I am from the um, Bay, so just coming out, trying to see new places here. Deputy John Barker tells me the ban was put in place back in 2011 to decrease the amount of fights and unruly behavior during Labor Day weekend. Reporting from the Sacramento River in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on.